Welcome back to Single Player Party. Uh, today I am playing the Manhattan Project Chain Reaction by, um, this was Minion Games, James Math, rest in peace, sir, uh, great person in the community. He owned a couple of board game stores and he, uh, ended up publishing some games and so he did the Manhattan Project, which was a bigger euro style game i believe i never actually played that one but i really liked the way that the manhattan project looked and so i think i have the cover for it somewhere here looks just like the back of the cards but i do i like the box size it fits nicely in there and uh I have the deluxe version, which is cool because it comes with um, these wooden tokens that have the silk screening on them. They're pretty nice. So I've played this one five or six times. It's got a lot of good little things going on for it, and it's a little it's a little puzzle. It's a little deck building where your deck is already built, kind of. And you just play out the hands you draw, and you're trying to do what you do in like other deck building engines where you would start gathering some resources, and then at some point you need to kind of flip the switch and start getting like victory points. So, let's see what we got here. Um... It's a bummer to draw the factories early so what you do is you have your landmark cards here these are stuff you can spend and do anytime they're a little bit weaker but they're the cards that you can have anytime I've uh, shuffled up the bomb deck and you've get you deal out four bomb cards and these are the victory points at the end so you want to buy up those and in order to do that you need to take your workers which are on the sides of each cards and then tap those and spend them to activate and pay for these parts of the cards and then you get the output and then basically you're going to be buying a lot of oh, sorry about the glare the glare is always a problem here let's see if i can fix the glare on the fly would have been nice to fix that beforehand right but that's what the pros do. No, I'm not a pro. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, then you'll use the output and you so you take the yellow cake and then you can turn the yellow cake into uranium. And then you put the uranium in a bomb and score points. So these factory cards in the solo mode, what I love about this is the solo mode, the cards actually say on the bottom what they do in the solo mode. And it's you may take uh, cards from the discard pile. So this is really powerful later, but you can't. First first round, you can't use it. This one is the espionage card. It says draw three and keep one, and then you put the other two back in any order. This is a huge problem. I want these two later so that I'm going to be able to use this stuff. So I'm going to put both of the factories down. This is going to be a bad game when I have all the factories gone you kind of need those in the solo mode you rely on them to really do some tricks later so kind of a huge bummer kind of a huge bummer so i spent this card start a little discard pile over here which you don't really need to see that much um we're not going to be able to do the factory thing so the best thing we can do right now is to spend three guys to get so see I've used them sideways I've used a labor a labor and an engineer and these are these are the mine is asking for just question marks which means you can use any of the three a labor an engineer or a scientist you'll learn this as you go but uh, so we're going to accumulate three yellow cakes from achieving that. And then 
the university is asking for one guy and it would output two, but we already have the two scientists. So what I could do here is I could turn the two scientists and one cake off of the um, enrichment plant and just get a uranium, which is pretty good. Or I could use the two scientists or the two laborers here on the mine and get another cake. I think what I want to do is do the two scientists and get the uranium. So this one we're not going to use because the two laborers don't get us anything that we would keep. So I'm going to spend the two scientists and a yellow cake and I'm going to turn that into uh, uranium. So this is going to go back into the pile. These are all spent and that's a turn. So you also have these bombs loaded cards, which um, it's nice because every card says reading the card explains the card. You may only load these on bombs worth five points or less. So in a lot of the games I played, I actually don't get those um, because I tend to load up heavy on this stuff. So I should probably try to get those more. So now we're going to draw a new hand of five. And it's a bummer because <laughs> another factory. Okay. I'm probably going to replay this game. So this, this one might be a double header. I might be doing two games in one because this is just so bad. You completely collapse the game. Like it's just, this is the one part where I think you get very unlucky. So a lot of times what I do is I put the factories outside of the discard pile because you will be digging through your discard pile and you cannot use, get another factory out, which is, is good for the quality of the game. So that's just terrible. So let's see if I power up this factory with three, I can get three cards. So it would take me three cards to get three cards. So is there anything in here worth getting? The mo this kind of mine is pretty powerful. So let's see what I have that would be instead of it. I like this factory better because it only takes one engineer, but I really don't like anything that's going on here. So I need another cake, which I can't get because of that. So I could get one cake from this card. So what would I convert? Because I, I guess my whole goal this time is going to be try to get those two output because these three are kind of dead cards. So, um, I guess I don't even need to do that because I could get my one cake there from a three. So, I can spend these three and get a cake and then hmm maybe there's a smarter way to do this hold on I could do the two scientists and one to get a uranium there and then I can do one scientist and one and get another uranium there so that would be two uraniums and that's kind of, no matter how I do it, it's going to be what I was trying to get to is two uraniums. Okay, so I'm going to spend a scientist and a cake uh, and then get this uranium output. And then I'm going to do two scientists 
here and a uranium or in a cake to get this uranium from the landmark so that actually leaves these two cards so these are spent now I could power up the factory I could use my two engineers to power up the factory now if I did that which I should do I could take that espionage card okay I'll take the mine and the espionage card so I'll play the espionage and then I'll look at the top three one two three okay I'm gonna have another factory so I'll leave that for next turn which is always nice and then I'll just take this double labor one which it doesn't matter so I'll do the two laborers to get one cake so even though I'm using two you can only satisfy one I can't get one for that and then one for that and like do it twice you can't do that the one time you can break up your who you get is if it's an output so if I was to do something where I was to output like three laborers or two engineers on the output side they could branch out and be build into two more different chains but you can't split your sideways card to be used for two different cards so i like this system so i'm just gonna take the factories out of the rotation that way when i get this i think this is the last factory already um i don't think i shuffled very well although yeah, I guess I didn't shuffle very well. <laughs> um, at least I didn't shuffle the cheat. I shuffled against my better nature. Or out of favor for me. So that's that's something to be proud of. Getting through this game the hard way. Okay. So, first thing I want to do. Double agent is great. You play one card for free. So we're definitely going to do the factory. This one is nice. The engineer and the scientist. I like that one the best. So... Because you always need an engineer and a scientist over there. So I'm going to save the double agent. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my two scientists to power the factory. This is an obvious choice. I've already drawn the mega powerful card. So I always pair this card, the enrichment plant, with the double agent. Now, if I was to get the factories later, I would constantly fish these two cards out and play them in tandem almost always. So now I'll play the double agent and that allows you to play one card for free from your hand. So I'm going to play out the enrichment and get three uranium. It's pretty good. And so now we've got these two cards left because we played these. I'll just turn them sideways so that they're played. Um, I'm not going to get much out of these two. I could use both of these to get some more cake, but I think it's good time to grab a victory point so that we can draw into try to draw into some six and sevens because we've only got the fives and the threes so there's this double scientist um i like the five better but i'm actually going to go for this three one because i've got the two scientists an engineer and three uranium so i'm going to do that and get and we're going to bank this card so We've got, um, I'm just going to set the bombs over here. And then this will be our score pile. And I'll take the loaded ones and just put it over here. And you can kind of see them. So this will be our, our score pile. So we got four points so far. So we put our uraniums back. All the cards from this hand are done. We'll put the factory in the exile pile instead of the discard pile and then we'll draw five more cards oh let's draw a new bomb card okay another five we got no sevens wow this is all ca wow i mean there's this doesn't matter how i shuffled for this these were all over the place anyway so that wouldn't have mattered man they want a lot of engineers and i don't have all i got is scientists this is tough. So. Let's 
Oh, I don't like any of this. I don't got any engineers. So I either use this one to get this. Right? Man, I want to output these threes. These threes are nice. So... I think what I should do is do three of these to create one engineer and get two cakes. You might be seeing a much more obvious move that I should do. Go ahead and comment below because I would like to learn. Uh, and then I'm going to do the two scientists here and one cake to make one uranium. So hopefully I can hit one of these fours next turn with four uranium. So off to the discard pile. I think I've scored like in the 30s usually for this game. So I don't know if I'm going to get to the 30s this time. So this is to design a bomb. You actually draw one card and you have an extra one face down. I might do it because I don't have any sevens out. But um, the engineer is kind of nice. Just depends on what I got. So he can power the factory. So I think the best move to do here is to power the factory. And then I'm going to do my uranium combo. I just, I do this every time. And there might be a position where like late game I wouldn't do it. If I was going to get those factories to the end and I already stocked up on a bunch of uranium, I would get what I need to just buy the biggest bombs. But right now we're still, we still kind of need to stock up. I'm not so worried about buying yet until the deck gets a lot lower. The game is over when you run out of cards. So... Uh, I played those and then now I'm going to play double agent and then on the double agent I'm going to pay this play this for free so I'm going to get three more uranium one two and three okay so um, this one's a scientist and three cake this one's three this one's a three I didn't really plan that well for these so this is kind of unfortunate um, I don't have any science. I need the scientists to do anything. Any of that mumbo jumbo. Uh, it would have been nice if I would have three. So this is still, I don't see how I can get around not that not being the best move. So a little unfortunate, but what I can do is turn three guys. One, two, three into a scientist and a scientist plus two two cakes equals one more uranium so just uranium stacking so an exile the factory and then on to the next five cards wow okay there's a lot more factories than i thought so uh i got i got my combo pieces here already so this is cool got that there um, and then I have the three to power this because, um, I'm probably going to want to do that again anyways. So let's go fishing. So power three to do the factory. This time I get to pull out three cards. So I'm going to pull out my combo pieces. And then I'm going to do the combo there too. And then, so whatever last card I pull out, it's a dead card. You know what one I can do, which I like, is the engineer and scientist. So I can buy that bomb. So this is actually a really good turn. Okay, so we paid for the factory. We're going to double agent this plant and get three uranium. One, two, three... And then we're going to double agent this enrichment plant for three more. And now we kind of switch into the buying phase. So on the first one, I'm going to pay an engineer and a scientist. And one, two, three, four, two, four, there's four there. And we're going to buy this five card. And then we're going to flip over a new one. Okay, so all the cards here were used. we got to put our uranium back. 
And then that definitely has to be the last f factory card. Um, so no, sometimes I keep the combo pieces a little higher, like on the top of the deck so I can grab them right away. But I'm not worried about that phone. There is another factory. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have been whining about how many factories I got in the beginning. So. Can't afford that. That's a great, that's a great one. But, um, okay, we need to power this, f we need to power the factory. Or do we? I never want to not get enough uranium. So. I would be fishing up the double agent. I don't have the five cake for that, so I just want the uranium. And it's, you know, there's a lot of cards left in the deck still, so. Um, I need to make a generic, so I wanna take him and the two scientists, leaving me a scientist. And then I can go fish up a double card and look, there's another five with that, so I probably want to get. This is the one thing. This is why I'm okay with. I'm. I'm gonna, you know, pass this game along. Uh, one of the things I'm okay with passing the game along about is because um, I tend to find that like what I'm doing is really relying on the factory cards as the engine, and then going in and digging up the same cards over and over. So even though there's like some good comboing that goes here, I really like it that in this game, there's also just this element of a kind of rep repetitious element to it. Pause. Okay, that was a quick jump cut there, just because, you know, had to. <laughs> so, um, these three are gonna get me uh, output of uh, engineer, and with that, I'm gonna do this. So, first thing I want to do is make sure that I can double agent that. Then we want to spend some, some to get over there. So maybe if I find a double engineer, double engineer, that'd be another good one. Hmm. I want to go for the four or the five. I think I want to go for the five. So all I need is an engineer. So I'm going to get three from that. Leave the three in there. Do a scientist and engineer and one more. So the three from this plus one. And then I'll get this card there's a seven all right so we'll get rid of our factories and uh, I know I'm a broken record on this but we'll see if we get any more factories which I don't think we will all right the bomb design lots of mining oh we've got lots of uh, goodies here so for the seven, we need one engineer, two scientists, and five uraniums. So one, two, three, four, five. We can buy that. And then we've got the mixture here. We can do anything we want here. So let's buy this one. And I don't remember if you replace it right away, but I, I do believe you do. So four, oh, threes and fours, okay. So, double engineer and this scientist with a three. One, two, three. And the main reason I'm doing this instead of getting uh, something else going, like picking up the... Is because I'm trying to thin this deck out. So we need to get back up to five of these. The deck is getting a little short. So maybe we'll switch our focus to just getting those because we can add it to all those other ones now that we're out of
uraniums. Okay, here's some, wow, lots of uranium output. That's great. So we want to do our espionage. Two, three. We'll keep one. So we've got all double engineers. Wow. So we can do, if we do this one, we can get one engineer to get some yellow cakes. Then we don't have the scientists we need. We need scientists for all of these. And we don't have scientists here. This is a bummer. We should, I should have kept an eye on that being a scientist and seen that I didn't have any scientists. Bummer. Okay. So. Tough. This is tough. So. I can output the three. And then I might be able to use them on two. So let's just, let's try this. So. We don't have, wait, I don't have the yellows to get any of these. Shoot. <laughs> so that won't work either. So that was not a bad, that was not a good choice. So we're just going to take it back. So I will take this one to try to get some cake. see what's coming next so okay so I'm gonna take one engineer to get me two yellow cake then I'm going to take four engineers and make a scientist at the university so scientist and one cake it's more efficient than that it's going to get me one of those. Tough choices. Down to the last two turns. And so, depending on how many times you do espionage, your last turn is going to be very weak. So, hopefully, I can get... Uh, I need either three three uraniums and then to be able to buy it too so I don't know if that's gonna work uh no I need too much uranium so not good not good and it's not a good time to buy so I can enrich this way thinking this out that gets me a uranium that's a three so I can buy that one if I've got two engineers and a scientist for the three. And then three of these. That'll get me the fourth one here. And I'll basically have nothing to do with my last turn. I oh mean, yeah, I didn't get any sixes. Okie dokie. I put these in the wrong pile if I was trying to keep the factories separate no big deal two cards left I have one engineer that can output me three engineers but I've got two engineers and a scientist basically I was hoping to have four so I can get one of these because it costs two and two which I didn't think I was gonna have and then it's gonna have both of these didn't matter you don't get any points for having extra cake or uranium at the end so all right, that's that's the match. Let's see what we got. So, 10, 21, 29. Not that good. So, let's shuffle up and play again. Round two. And I think we can do better once those factories are shuffled in better. I'm not just pulling these to the top, I'm kind of putting some in and back on the bottom and loosely floating some to the middle. Okay, so a three, ooh, a seven, yay, a four, and a six. All right, that's a better spread than last time. All right, now two, 
get these in there better. The quality of these cards is really good too. This is the deluxe edition, which comes with those silk screened components. I don't know if it meant that the cards were higher quality or not. Um, if I was going to keep this game, I would definitely sleeve it for shuffling these, but they are very strong. They're very nice. Um, I like this. I like the deck of cards a lot. All right, round two, let's go. All right, an early factory again, boo. Espionage, okay. We want to espionage into, the best thing we can espionage into would be the, um, Dropped a baggie for the uranium. Okay. Is to into the the thing that makes us automatically pay for that. Otherwise, I don't got a lot going on here. So we will play espionage. Oh wow. We'll take this one. Wow. All right. Draw three and keep one. Actually, let me check the rules about where the... I may have played that wrong last game. Where the um, card goes. It might be on the bottom. I think it was back on the top, though. Espionage, draw three cards, put the rest place back on top of the deck in any order you choose. Yeah, so. Did that right. Okay, so we're going to keep the mine. We're going to have. This is spent. We're going to have two scientists, an engineer, another engineer. Because we're going to pay two engineers to get three kick for sure one two three kick okay and then we're not going to factory because there's nothing to factory for actually let me see if it's if the cards go after you play them they go into the discard pile right away but i don't think so because i think you lay out everything and then discard Beginning to discard all industry cards. At the end, you discard them all played. Okay. Yeah, and that's how I've been playing this whole time. So, I just that's right. So, if I could output anything, the only thing I could output would be this. But I don't have enough uranium. So, what do I do with three, two engineers and a scientist? Two scientists. I think I'm just in that funky spot again. So I just mm, do two scientists. I go to the enrichment plant and one cake is going to get me. No, don't fall over. One uranium. At Oak Ridge. Thank you, Oak Ridge. So, factory is not going to be able to be summoned from the depths like the other cards. And then do the enrichment plant we saw and the other factory we saw. The other enrichment plant 
Richmond plant and a double agent. Oh, perfect. That's exactly what we wanted for this hand. Because we're going to enrich a lot of those. Now, I just might be playing with a completely wrong strategy here. You never know. So, well, I mean, maybe you do know and I don't know. So I never know. That leaves me with what to do with the rest of this stuff. So if I'm going to do three cards from there, I'm going to have to spend. Hmm. Excuse me. These two like this or a scientist and three. So we're not going to do that. So we're going to get, let's get these three uranium first. One, two, three. Maybe I want to buy one of these already. So I can probably buy the six. Oh no, I can't. Mm, I can buy the f that one. Okay. So I kind of am leaning towards the factory. So if I spend engineer, engineer, and factory, I'm gonna just look in the discard pile to see what I would what I would play. This would get me one card. I don't getting one card would be a gamble if I could get. if I took this card and this card for the engineer and then this card depending on what I pulled I might be able to get a second engineer and get the third cake if I swing and miss I might be really screwed so my hope would be to draw into the other double but I think I have enough factories later so why don't I just pull this card guaranteeing I can at least do the mine and then we'll see what else I pull and that will give me three cakes it's better than anything this setup can get me I think uh, yeah I'm gonna do one scientist and one this for one of those but I the three cake and potential cascading could be better so let's play the espionage so let's look at the top three. Double agent. I should have took the... Oh, man. Uh, factory with double agent next turn. Although I've already got the combo pieces in there. So if I double agent right now, I could get two uranium. Which is better than three cake. So I am going to take the double agent and then just keep comboing that's gonna take an engineer but okay yeah I like this all right so I got my three back from this played the one got the double agent so I'm going to double agent and do enrichment plant which is gonna get me two more uranium then I have a scientist and two cake I could get another uranium that gives me something to do. Alright. Chugging along. Let's put the factory in the exile pile. Put these in the discard pile. And I will leave my enrichment plant and double agent on top for when I do my next factory. Four and five. Alright. So this factory takes one engineer. I can use this and boom. So now I do the combo, play those and get three more uranium. One, two, three. All right, now I've got three scientists. Um, So I could generate three of those aren't going to be anything. So I'm going to take my three scientists and I'm going to mine up some cake. It's pretty good. All right. Great turn. And get my factory out of play. So one, two, three, four, and five. All right, do you want to start buying? Well, 
let's keep enriching. So I'm going to take my one scientist and three cakes. And that's going to get me two uranium. And then I'm going to take my two scientists and engineer and five of these. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to buy my first seven spot. All right. Big plays. And then that one does nothing for me. Nothing I can do with two laborers at the end of a turn. I spent those three cake to get the two uranium. I think I grabbed them. Yeah, I'll say that I did just in case I didn't. Actually, I could back it up, but no, nah, I'm not going to. Just assume I did. All right, the factory for one. Man. So maybe I want to output those guys to have two laborers and a scientist. But I might want to be the other way around. But that uh, gives me some flexibility. All right, so I'm going to do those two and that. And that will give me my combo so i'm going to play the combo piece of the double agent and i don't think i've in all my time playing this i've never paid for the in, the giant enrichment plant so for the factory i'm going to get the double agent and the enrichment plant and then i used it and i got three so um there's pretty much a nothing i can do with these two I don't have any cake. So, yeah. These three can generate me something like a one, but it's like, what would I do with an engineer? Nothing. So, I got my three uranium. Hmm, that might not have been the best turn. But three uranium is pretty good. If I do say so myself. All right. There's the double guy. I think this is a uranium stock up turn. All right, so we're going to do that. And then we're going to play the combo. So that's going to get me one, two, three more. And then let's make sure the rest of the other combos in here too. I think they both are. Espionage, double agent, and max enrichment. Okay, so what I need to do is do a double here. So I'm going to pay these two to do that again, and then pull out double agent and play enrichment plant for three more cake. All right, one, two, three. So now we get back to buying. So we're going to put the factory back into the exile pile, well, into the exile pile. Then this factory in the exile pile. So you see, the game hinges around the factories. And I mean, factories matter, right? Factories are the producers. So I need to dig for... Make sure I get those. Oh, this is really good. Um, well, kind of. Not outputting any workers, so let's see. So the six would be, let's do two scientists. These two are the same, so I'm gonna do two scientists and one engineer with four uranium to get me this card. Okay. And then I'm going to do these four is going to give me one scientist and then these two engineers and then five. One, two, three, four, five. Grab this other seven. 
All right. Spent nine uranium. That's a lot of nuclear testing. That's a good turn. Because all five cards got used to their max potential. Gotta grab up those sixes. Still an loaded card. And that could be why I never get the big scores. All right. Two laborers. Look at these two. Sitting around. Go work in the factory. Bring me my combo. Um, I don't... Actually, I don't need to fish up the other side of the combo. So, I need to think smart here. So, I need the piece that's going to trigger that. So double agent. Now, I need two engineers would be the best. So double engineer on that. Yeah, these two laborers are going to have nothing to do, but that's okay. So we're going to play these and get three more uranium. One, two, three. And then two engineers, one scientist, and four uranium. Is going to get me the sixer. And then draw another. This guy is not getting anything used. So these go back. These get discarded, the mine, the factory gets exiled, and there. All right. So fours and threes. So we've got six uranium, three, three. Okay. Well, hopefully we can buy two cards because uh, we only had two turns after this one. Oh, we didn't get any engineers. Dang it. Okay. We're going to be pretty limited here. So two scientists on one card that's going to be the optimal there then we would go oh we're not in happy town regardless yep there's not much we can do here I don't think getting cake is a good idea at this point I want to buy a victory card because there's no guarantee that I'll be able to buy another one later. I don't have enough engineers to like... St well, I can't stack on anything there for that bomb loaded card. Okay, so... Yep. It's got to be that. So that gets me the one engineer. And then three cake. I don't want to keep the other three because I know I can buy the other threes over there. So, these two give me nothing. Because I need cake to buy a stuff there. Oh, four. That'd be nice. Okay. Last two turns. All right. Well, I didn't have any. Okay. So these two are the same. So that and that and those three would get me this guy. And then I can get three cakes, but it's going to be hard to, to chain cakes into um, uranium and score off of it next turn. Would have been nice if I had had one, one nice to be the scientists. I could have loaded a bomb. So, okay, so I'm doing this. I'm getting three uranium. 
Uranium is a tiebreaker in um, a game with other people, but I don't play with other people, so. Um, wow, espionage. What a useless card at the ah, no, factory. All right, we've got enough for the factory to do three. Because we're, we're, we'd get two uranium, but we wouldn't be able to buy anything. So let's do the three. Let's see what three cards I can do to to chain this into something. This might be my first time ever I'm going to buy a bomb loaded card. So let's see what three cards I would buy. Hmm... I would need two cards to buy anything. So it's like I'd have to fund it and the uranium to get, or the cakes to get uranium and then a fourth card to pay for the third card that would get me the bomb. Like so there's double agent, but okay, so I, this would get me three uranium, right? But the most I'd have is, oh, oh. Oh, it's only three uranium, not four. If it was, f if it was, if this was three, or I had another one sitting around, I could have got the. There's one card with um, an engineer and a scientist on it. This one, the university. One short of getting that five. So, anyways, I think what I need to do is do the bomb loaded card. <laughs> this will be my first time doing a bomb loaded card. So I need to get. Two engineers, two scientists, and it's really it. It's all I can do. So, if I had, let's see here. So, if I had one scientist and three, two, th I can get one uranium. That would be one of the cards. That would be the one scientist. Okay. That would give me one uranium. Uh, uh, yeah, there's no card that's going to give me four uranium in that. Yeah, this is the best I can do. So it doesn't matter what the last card is. So, all right, I'm going to pay for these two to get my first bomb loaded card. And load up my f that four up there. All right. This factory goes away. Everything else goes in the discard. And we score. So there's 10. 22. 29. 29. 36. 36 is a score I've gotten quite a few times. So, um... I think before I've gotten like seven, seven, six, six, and five, five, and so this this caught me up to that. So I mean, there's not a lot of other cards you can buy, so I don't know how much you can truly get out of this game. Thirty six seems to be like a really good score. I feel like I'm sure there's people out there like I, I that was close. I could have maybe bought that. It's a little close to that, so that would have gotten me up from thirty six to thirty nine. I think 40s would be like a killer score in this game. So I'm happy to have a bunch of 36s under my belt. I'd have to check my BGG plays again to see if I actually ever did go higher than that. But this is Chain Reaction. Uh, the Manhattan Project Chain Reaction by Minion Games. Um, glad to have owned it. Glad to have gotten a bunch of plays out of it. Uh, I got too many games to work through my back catalog, but this one did was a great filler for my lunch at work. So I, I feel uh, I'm looking for it's a relatively small footprint. Um, I play a lot of times on a I have a desk mat, and uh, it fits pretty well on there. These little standees are cool too. So all right, well thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye.